Shirt, mystigoogoo.com. I'm here with something that uh, was very popular at. I'm sorry, I'm very confused because I'm looking at my screen up there, which has one, two, three, four, five, six of me wearing that shirt, and I'm just like, whoa! Um, something that at 42 Gear Street was very popular with all the channels was the Logan by Kma. Came my audio machines. Enrico Preuss was here hanging out with everyone and making videos about the Logan. I, of course, couldn't do one because I was, I don't know, getting some YouTuber coffee or toilet paper or who knows what. Spoiled freaking YouTubers. So, I'm making one now. Logan, boink! It did make a boink sound, but okay. The Logan is an overdrive. Wait, is it in Wait, this is, wait. Ah! And that's, that's the one for the mids. I'm confused. I'm so confused. Um, Enrico hung out here. We checked out all the pedals. And he's got some really cool stuff. And he loves his fuzzes. I was always like, don't you have like a not fuzz? Fuzz are cool. The fuzzy bear is really, really cool. The dead stack was too, you know, sludgy for me and Swedish death metal stuff into it. it I didn't, it's not my thing. I like a nice transparency kind of overdrive that helps your amp be what it is and especially I love mid control. Now it kind of feels like Enrico created exactly what my cup of tea is. With the Logan Transcend Drive. Transcendent? Transcend Drive. It's got engage and mids and it's got knobbies. Don't be scared. It's very simple. It's got level and drive, and you turn that on by hitting engage. Bam, this dude's head lights up red. That rhymes. Uh, then you have low with the mini pots, which yes, have markings on them. Thank you, Enrico. Um, low and highs, you can tweak. Guess what, the lows and highs. Very simple. It's not a super mega gain drive, it's an overdrive. Pushing an amp with this, hell yeah. Then you can push on the mid, which will enable the Narval's eye. That makes you be able to boost or cut, mid, cut or boost. Uh, the mid and the frequency is determined right here. Those knobs feel super solid. He uses good pots, people. He's got some good pot. 
Um, and then we have, oh, there, we have a pedal side cam, Leslie, if, we, if you could, please. It's dark, but that's okay. And we have this cable here, which you can plug into the expression input so that the one camera that you don't see, where you don't see anything, um, expression input so that uh, you can hook up an expression pedal like I have on the ground here with the, uh, the Mission Engineering EP25 Aero, great pedal. You can actually remote control the frequency knob. And if you sweep the mids, what happens? It's y -ish. On a Y, usually the high and low end are more rolled off, but it's pretty damn close. So this pedal offers a lot. Series mid booster cut, sweepable mids for cool effects, or wah, drive that can be boosted, uh, or that can boost an amp, and a pre-post switch, which I assume uh, says where the mids are, pre or post the drive. We're gonna go into the Sky King by Tone King first. We're gonna go into the Ox with the 412 cream back loaded cab and also the Tone King cab mic with the Lewitt MTP440. I literally have fans who can sing that. This, many fans haven't seen, that's the purple monster. That's what I call her. It's my McMull super private stock custom shop guitar in a custom color for me with a matching headstock. God, this thing is good. McMull humbuckers. There are three guitars right now in the world that have humbuckers from McMull. Well, I, I think. It's definitely a heartbreaker with humbug. It's a very special guitar. Get one if you can sell your grandma. Because this thing is expensive. So, I'm going to turn all that stuff off. That's the Tone King with a little bit of reverb. Little bit of reverb. That's the Tone King with a little bit of reverb from itself. This right here and right here and we engage that shirt's horrible <laughs> machines freaking nailing the overdrive <laughs> So crank that up. those really radio sounds you get a lot of low end there so beautifully tweakable let's look at the high end we're gonna need them when we go to the mini plexi Let's 
that's all the gain there is. <laughs> Open string. I'm trying things. This is a. Uh, before we go into the midsection, we're gonna go and pump that into a bunch of amps. Marshall, mini plexi thing. Very body. brilliant uh, JCM 800 all the way on the right there behind the helix Morgan AC20, which is Voxish. <laughs> Works very beautifully. Uh, let's do the uh, Engel Savage 120, which is already kind of on crunch. Actually works really well with that. Uh, we have more. Let's do the Friedman small box, very plexi ish. On channel one. I just want to do having fun. Pushing the and Pete switch a bit hard. Here we go, let's do that. So, uh, I think it's fair to say that the Logan works very well as an overdrive to push an amp. It also works very well as an overdrive by itself.
almost certainly very transparent. I, I can hear the clean still kind of in there. <laughs> So, which brings us to the mids. So I push those on, and right now, boost cut is in the middle. And I'm taking the mids out. taking them out? That's always a good question. By boosting you can hear it much clearer. Let's go to the Marshall JT 800. much more fo focused sound. Beautiful for soloing. Just letting you guys know. I'm leaving that delay on because I'm gonna plug in the expression input and now I've got foot control over this. I'm fully boosting and let's see what happens. post because now I'm shaping it after the distortion. <laughs> Fully boosting or fully cutting. You can't really hear that. to the Tone King. Of course, 
uh, in a live situation, you can just have the overdrive on. Then kick in this and go. And turn it back off. Or no expression. Boost the living crap out of it right about here. And have the mids off. Kick him in and... So yeah. Bottom line, Enrico Preuss from KME Audio Machines created a fantastic overdrive that works beautifully by itself, where the mid function isn't even the pièce de résistance. The mid function is a cool thing that it also has. The overdrive is killer by itself with lows and highs, which are very tun tunable. The mids are icing on the cake and they're great. But I wouldn't even buy it for the mids. I would just buy it because it's a great overdrive. Now, you get the mids on top. It's almost a have to buy thing if you're into mid gain overdrives, pushing an amp, all that stuff, and you want control. Pretty, pretty well done, Enrico. After all the fuzzy stuff, I wasn't sure you could do it. This thing doesn't fuzz in any way. It's got the creepy, creepy narwhal. Leslie said, what did he say, raccoon thing? There's probably yeah, a story, raccoon. Wait, raccoon, yeah, narwhal raccoon thing, then the raccoon has a thing on, I don't quite know, I don't quite know what's happening there. But there's probably a story to it that I'm missing. Well done. Now, please subscribe, that helps me. Do the patron thing if you can, a buck per viewer would pretty much make me rich. But of course you don't do that. Do a buck, do whatever you can support uh, to support the channel. Um, this, by the way, I gotta say this, was an unpaid video. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, Instagram, Facebook, all those things, all in the end card. Use my links below, that also helps to feed the animals. Thanks for watching, thanks Leslie, and flippity flop. After the trial of love